Pascal's triangle is a number pattern with useful applications in mathematics. Each row is formed by adding together adjacent numbers from the preceding row. In part A, determine the eighth row of Pascal's triangle. This diagram shows the first seven rows of Pascal's triangle. We can form the ends of the next row by sliding down ones from the previous row. The middle terms are found by adding adjacent numbers from the preceding row. The eighth row of Pascal's triangle is 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. In part B, rewrite the first seven rows of Pascal's triangle, but use combination notation instead of numbers. Bring up the first seven rows of Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle uses a mathematical zero-based counting system instead of the familiar visual one-based counting system. So, the visual first row is actually the mathematical zeroth row. The first row has the combination zero choose zero. The second row has the combinations one choose zero and one choose one. The third row has the combinations 2 choose 0, 2 choose 1, and 2 choose 2. Note that row positions are also zero-based, so the visual first position of this row is actually the mathematical zeroth position. Fill in the remaining rows. Here is one more example of the zero-based index. The visual fifth row third position is mathematically the fourth row second position using zero-based counting. Also note that the number of terms in a row is equal to the row number visually, or one greater than the row number when thinking with the zero-based index. As an example, the visual fourth row, or zero-based third row, has four terms. Let's take a moment to do a few examples with the number of terms in a row. Set up a table with columns titled phrase or expression and number of terms. The phrase, the 20th row, implies visual, one-based counting. There are 20 terms in the row. N equals 14 implies mathematical, zero-based counting. There are 15 terms in the row. Now we'll outline some one-based and zero-based counting tips. The visual one-based and mathematical zero-based counting systems take a bit of getting used to. If you read a phrase like the second row fourth position, it is referring to the visual one-based system. If you read a phrase like n equals 3 and k equals 2, it is referring to the mathematical zero-based system. It's up to you to translate these quantities in your head. The second row fourth position means n equals 1 and k equals 3.
n equals 3 and k equals 2 means the fourth row, third position. Now we'll move on to part C. Using the triangles from parts A and B as a reference, explain what is meant by n choose k equals n choose n minus k. Bring up the first seven rows of Pascal's triangle. There is symmetry in each row. For example, the second position of the sixth row is equal to the second last position of the same row. Using the zero-based index, we have the combinations 5 choose 1 and 5 choose 4. We know that 5 choose 1 equals 5 choose 4. We can think of this as one term forwards and one term backwards. And we can generalize this as k terms forward and k terms backward.